What's up, y'all? Strong Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, coming to you here from entertainment capital of the world. Of Las Vegas. And hey, Vegas has some of the best shows around, yo. The top acts on the strip. If you come here, expect to pay a hefty amount for some of these tickets. You can be sure if those tickets cost that much, these artists are making a killing. And Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's not worth it. Absolutely worth it. So I just found out how much YouTube is getting paid to do their residency. I guess you can't even call it residency because it's only about 12 shows. Absolutely worth it. But you know that big giant sphere that's being built? Yeah. That's going to be a like concert hall stage something like crazy you can literally fill it up to the top oh they're gonna be the first performer there apparently it's been hugely controversial why well i think the owner of the company was convinced like we got to get them and the price tag that he's paid for that made everyone else come and go are you effing crazy so here's the thing right before i even tell you the how much they're earning this stadium is not like Allegiant Stadium, okay. which is 60 some thousand seats, Seven, something like that, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. This is actually a lot smaller, holds about maybe 17,000 to 18,000 people, right? Uh-huh. So if you're thinking about it, over 10 shows, it's about 170 some thousand people, right? They will be making $10 million for about 12 shows, which is nearly a wow. million dollars per show. Holy guacamole! And that's not even it. Apparently, I, I think maybe this part is where everyone else in the company go like, the CEO has a hard on for you too. <coughs> Word on the street is that they're getting something like 90% of the ticket sales for the, the show as well. You too will get 90%. Yeah. <gasps> Wow. I don't think every artist is getting something like that. I think this was more like a, hey, we believe that this would be a great way to kick off. It's almost like a grand opening, right? You got right. to find a big act. Right. Honestly, I don't know if you two, look, look, I love you two. I, I grew up with you two. College days, you two, they were the jam. But uh, it's been a long time since they had a hit. Certain this will sell. They have their diehards. They will come out. They will pay a premium amount for these tickets. But yeah, uh, that's how much it, they're, they're making. I'm on the fan side, right? You got famous because of your fans. So give back to them. Okay, well, you know what? Since I'm a capitalist, my point is they're going to sell out. So if they're going to sell out, why Why not not charge more (laughs) to a level where it fills up just right? It's basically supply and demand. If it's limited supply, then you charge as much as the demand will, will dictate. Yeah, but there's also another option to that. You know, a good example is like BTS, where if you are a member, they do give you a cheaper price if you are a real fan. There's things you could do. I'm not right? saying that there's things that you can't do for like hardcore fans who buy more of your merch. The only membership club that I'm probably joining is the Airlines one and maybe Costco. That's about it. I'm not joining no, like no music artist fan club right it's like i'm too old for this shit uh, like, like there needs to be more of an experience than just i'm gonna go sing for you because if it's just gonna sing for you i mean to me it's like just listen to the cd but you know forget cds just stream it on youtube there's past concerts you can go get so i also find out how much adele was uh, making here in las vegas she got paid even more but it's because she's doing a lot more shows all right all said and done supposedly she's making about 16 million dollars holy cow getting paid about uh half a million dollars per show well there was also controversy about that a lot of fans are not happy about the price because it it's so expensive Okay, yeah, um, they are expensive. So apparently tickets range in price from $1,300. Right. For goodness say. So, th- I mean, those are nosebleeds, right? Yeah. Those are so high up there. She looked like Adele even lost more weight because it's so small. Right? <laughs> um, two, 16000 freaking dollars. That's college tuition for two kids. That's what I'm saying. Basically, two of your kids are not going to go to college for a year so that you <laughs> and a loved one doesn't even have to be your wife. Can it could be a mistress. Go watch. Can go watch Adele. Yeah. But I will say that if she's coming out here, you're paying, say, 1300 bucks, right? You give them, maybe, like, sit down with you for dinner, right? And everyone can have, like, a meal together. Maybe a buffet at before time. And this is her favorite dishes. Apparently, she loves to eat, like, fish and chips and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. 
like, like there needs to be more of an experience than just I'm gonna go sing for you. I mean, to me, it's like just listen to the CD. But you know, forget CDs. Just stream it on YouTube. I literally just Googled Katy Perry. And I didn't even like look for a concert. Someone had posted up the entire like two hour concert online of her residency here in Las Vegas. And the quality was good enough that I was just watching through. I'm like, okay, I got the whole show. I don't need to go see it. <laughs> Apparently in her show, she literally has at one point has a gigantic toilet bowl that's half the stage. And a giant poopy pops out. And she oh, talks wow, to it. Oh, wow. Really? Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe I'm not. But it's crazy enough that Katy Perry <laughs> would do it. <laughs> be fun to go watch it because i know she would put on a great show but i literally just saw the whole thing online so now i'm my 168 no way i think she I guess wins adele is not charging that much exactly <laughs> Lydette. you two and adele is like chump no, change like 32 shows though Bay. okay right look, that's still shows? five million dollars per show I can okay. barely make five dollars per my show here on YouTube. <laughs> you I'm, can't even get it two dollars per. What the fuck, much? baby? What what are we doing wrong in life? Wow! Holy moly! I I can see why she extended it now. In fact, if I was <laughs> Katy Perry, I would extend it indefinitely. Till I die. <laughs> Seriously, it's the ultimate gig. Touring is so hard. I mean, think about how many bands. Wrote songs about, I can't wait to go home. Touring's the hard life. Because it's like every night, a different city. You can, Vegas, you literally can stay in the poshest suite because the, the hotel will take care of you, right? And then you just <laughs> go downstairs to the stage to perform. Everything's already taken care of. Mm -hmm. Everything's set up. You don't have to worry if things are working or not. You just go and perform. That's it. Five million effing dollars? Wow. Freaking brilliant. Who else has a residency here? I'm going to see how much they're going. Oh, Lady Gaga. All right. Supposedly, Lady Gaga gets paid $1.5 million per, per show. Per show. Per show. Yeah. So that's a lot. And she performed for a good number of years, too. So Cher, she was here for a good number of years, too. If I could turn back time. Is Britney still performing? See how much she was paid. Britney was, was a hot thing here in Vegas for a while. She started out a couple of years ago before I would say it became really cool while you were still relevant to like be in Vegas. Like, so she made about supposedly $300,000 per night. So that's a lot lower than I thought, but she did re up. When she re up, she re up for another 35 million. So I think I did it again. I think it's, you know, reflective of like, hey, this is actually taking off. But honestly, I think she was kind of like the forefront of this latest renaissance of residencies in Vegas because mm -hmm. it usually is the artists that are like way past their prime mm -hmm. that come here, perform. But right? not Celine Dion? Like Celine Dion became such an institution. I mean Supposedly, she made about $500,000 per show. And uh, it was billed as uh, one of the most profitable acts in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. She was here for a long time, actually. She was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she paid to become like a I local came. type of scenario. Yeah. She did like 70 shows a year. And she was already a resident yeah. here, right? Yeah, so basically here for many, many years. Number one is Celine Dion. No. She got the formula. She knew what to do. Boom, nailed it. Bruno Mars. I don't think Bruno Mars actually makes a lot of money. He hasn't been here for that long, but... He doesn't really have a residency, I don't think. Yeah, but it's always sold out. So he's made uh, $50 million, supposedly. Oh my God. There's a whole other list for DJs. DJs are making a killing here in Vegas, too. Wow. What about YouTubers? When, when are we going to get the big bucks? 